Hi, welcome to another episode of Adventure Arkansas. Today we're going to be upgrading my wheel set, my Bond Traeger Line 30, um, from a 54 point engagement to 108 point engagement. The first step is you're going to take off your wheel. Use the little derailleur lock. So the two part numbers you're going to need for this upgrade is Trek part number 552414 and 552415. It's about $42 for the, the springs and the poles all together. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is use your chain tool and your cassette tool to take your cassette off. Usually it requires a lot more force, but I've already pre-loosened this one. Keep loosening that. So your cassette will just pop off as one piece. And now you're going to take your hub body off your free wheel driver. Just wipe it off real quick. And this is real easy, all it does is just pop out, so there's this little end cap that you got to watch out for. And then you're going to take your driver body off and just slide off like that. So if you look inside here, okay so right now there's three poles on it, but it has accommodations for six. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be putting the other three poles and the other three springs in this uh, allocations. And then if you look at the hub itself, you can see the steel drive ring that it uh, locks onto. Alright, so for the installation of the pole and the spring, it's actually fairly simple. So there's a little hole um, that you're going to put the spring inside. So I'm going to try to do that right now. So just take that spring, careful don't lose it. Slide it in there. There, it's focused now. And then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to slide the pole in from the top. So note the orientation. Just kind of put the pole in. And you'll notice that it doesn't go all the way down. So what's going to happen is you're going to have to compress that spring to be able to put the pole inside. So what I'm using is I'm using a little pick. So I'm going to take it using one finger to hold pressure on the top of the pole. I'm just going to slide the pick in, compress the spring, slide the pole down, and then release. So now I've got all six of my pole and spring system in this driver. Okay, so now you can reinstall the hub driver onto the hub. It's actually really simple. Take it, put it back on, just slide it. You'll notice that it doesn't fit flush the first time. So what you're gonna do is twist it counterclockwise. And now you can hear it's got full engagement. So now what you're going to do is just put your end cap back on. It just slides on. And then you're going to put your cassette back on. Alright, so that's the end of the installation. It's super simple. It takes like maybe five minutes if you have the right tools. All you need is a cassette tool, a chain whip, and potentially a pick depending on how good you are with your hand. Um, so it makes a good sound now. Um, so basically what happened is you double the points of engagement. At first it had 54, which if you take 360 degrees divided by 54, it's about seven-ish degrees. Um, so now there's about three degrees of engagement. So that means from uh, the point that you put on the power to the point that it engages is only about three degrees. So it really helps out in really tricky, techie sections. Um, and it sounds great. So, yeah, there's a tech tutorial.